I want to get really serious for a minute here. This track was no joke the first time I rode it. In fact, it was the scariest trail I've ever ridden in my life. The Champry downhill track has been the scene of some of downhill racing's most famous moments. Sam Hill in 2007, where the rain had come down, yet he managed to finish third, only like a very small margin behind someone that rode it in the dry. Danny Hart's amazing run in 2011, where he decimated the field by almost 12 seconds in the rain. The history on this track is gonna be talked about forever. And the first time I rode it was six years ago, and easily, it's been the scariest trail that I've ever ridden. So today, after all those years of riding since then, I'm gonna go back on my new Scott Gambler and see if things have changed. I'm very, very nervous, but I'm gonna be riding with Ben, who was actually one of the people that built the track and knows so much about it. He says it has gone easier over the years. I don't really believe him, but we're gonna straight up there, get on the GoPro and just go and get it done, punters. Okay, here we go. So the plan is, we're gonna do a warm up, Ben says. It's not super gnarly. Just to get my iron. Oh my God, what's this? Just burn back and forth. Okay. Good? Yeah. Oh, this is so steep already. Yep. According to Trail Forks, this first trail translates as oh. the World <laughs> Cup appetizer and is the route you take down to the legendary track. This is so steep. It's rated as a double black and it's only the warm up. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you were doing this the, the other day like ten times. And my wife just does it by herself all the time. <laughs> Let's go over here. We'll do a flow track. Okay. Okay. So what's this one? This is the Chevroy. Chevroy is a like a little a little deer. <laughs> yeah, this isn't much of a flow trail, mate. This trail so misses out the first part of the World Cup track and is rated as a red. In France, a red trail is one step easier than a oh black Oh, God, trail. steep. Might be the steepest flow trail in the world. <laughs> Are you going off the right there? Yeah, and then you can gap into that left turn, too. Oh, so yeah, chain me in. Oh, my God. <laughs> I started to get into it a bit on this one and the nerves calmed down a little. Not too horrible. Uh, the one where Sam Hill fell. He fell like coming into it? Yeah. Le Coupe du Monde. So what bits have we... We avoided the first part, which is gnarlier than the second part. And the second part, there's go-arounds, so you yeah. can avoid the big features. Okay. I wouldn't take you here if I thought you would get hurt. Oh good, I trust you. What the fuck? Hey, trust Ben, trust Ben. I'm just saying trust Ben. What the fuck? Now we're into it. This is the World Cup track. Oh rated on Trail Forks as a pro line. Okay. Nerves came right back and I was almost shaking. Memories of that first ride six years ago came flooding back. <laughs> well, we didn't do the proper hard stuff. Yeah, exactly. But there's a go around. So. <laughs> the cool part of this was that I did have Ben to show me how things were meant to be written. Left. Left is okay. Jesus. Ooh. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. <gasps> There's a pretty decent step down right here. Where? Do you want me to hit it for you or we just ride it? No. Yeah. Go. go. Oh my life. It's got to be like 25. 25 feet. 
Not only was he around to show me how to do it, but he's a walking history lesson. Meow. Is this where Danny cut the course? Yep, right here. It just, it would have been just here. It's probably a bit no, different. You fucking rode this. What? This is just like a wall. There didn't used to be a corner there. Yeah, that's yeah. What, that's how we made the track easier, so we put catch berms everywhere. Before it was all flat. There's a couple spots where I never thought it was possible. And then he just did it in yeah, the wet. There's a couple lines where I was like, I don't understand what mountain biking can do. <laughs> and then Gwyn crashed right here. He got pushed wide right there and he was riding on the side and then he crashed in the net right here. Yeah. Minar pulled from here and landed on the bridge. I don't know what, why what? he did that, but he did. Whoop. He can't ride the rest of the track. Aww. I mean, let's go back and do the proper thing. After Ben did this massive manual down the road, we headed back up the Teleferique to hit the whole track, top to bottom. How many meters? What are the stats for this? A thousand, thousand meters down the bottom. That was a thousand meters? Yeah. Where did the race start again? Right, right this was it. The lineup right here, and then the little start pipe was right here. You got about one pedal. <laughs> a downhill start ramp, so yeah, it's literally like a pedal out of the gate, but it's like, okay. Oh my god. This really was the scariest day of my life on a bike that I'm revisiting here. I was just trying to handle it as best I could. Oh. We've probably got some serious GoPro effect going on here, but take my word for it. I have ridden some pretty steep things, but they don't compare to this. Wanna look at the real lines, or? Do a warm up and get get the wife. No. Oh my god! It's not very clean, but it works. <laughs> no way. You want me to ride it? Oh yeah, of course. Oh my god! It's so easy. Oh god! Look at it, so steep. If you haven't already, go check out some of these other steep videos. And hey, why not hit subscribe and see me push myself in the future? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, uh, oh no. I've ruined myself. Yeah, <laughs> Please. We're not going to take the race line because I don't feel like it. This is all the cheater lines that we built. See how all that, all the work that it took to add a berm? But that one is a roll the dice type line. The catch at the end is small, so if you mess it up, you're... Oh my god, you just goes so fast down it. Like it's nothing. Oh my god. <laughs> like I know what's g gonna happen, but I can't see myself doing it. Nope. Nope. You spend so much time thinking about all the lines and everything, and then they yeah. show you new lines that you never would have dreamed of that you didn't think was possible physically. Yeah. Very humble. I saw you pull up. Oh my, people wrote down this? <sighs> ah. Again. Oh! Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my I don't get it. Oh now I'm stuck. So Ben just pointed out that that turn is brand new. And it's, he says it's the easiest it's ever been. It's like if all of these things were by themselves, it'd be no big deal. But it's because they're all this one track. Come on. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so nice. The days riding it with the dudes when it's wet, it's full on. Like my heart's stopping. Just me. stay at home and watch Netflix, Ben. Jeez. When it's hard pack and then it gets wet, it's like an ice rink. And that's the worst time you could possibly ride it. Oh yeah, that's the worst time. time. Now this is the... One of the most famous features, the rock. Oh! <laughs> if I were going faster, I, was, I could go high. I'm going pretty slow. Okay. 
Oh my God, he flew down there. Oh yeah, I can do the, this one. Okay. Yes! <laughs> look how high up you are. This is so <laughs> that will look and it felt like like nothing. You're so close to me but so high. Oh my god. The wet. Oh my shit. Yeah, walking this one as well, team. Everyone's just so chilled going down this. Oh, salut! Then we bumped into Ben's wife, Corinne, who I already knew was a shredder, but Ben wanted to show me just how much of a shredder she was. This is the spot where they waited for the helicopter to come and pick up the guy that had broken his leg in half a few days before. I won't go into more details, but in half. Hey, nice goals, Corinne. Huh? Yeah, you too. <laughs> come on then, Corinne. Drop me like a stone. Oh my gosh, she's gone. Yeah, she is gone. Yes. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. I started to take things off that I didn't do the first time down, and as things became more familiar, I started to chill oh out a little bit. He's flying. Right. Oh. Such a pinner. Nice. <laughs> well, we've ridden this thing a shitload of times, and you don't know where you're going. <laughs> yeah. You also built it, Ben. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> when I don't like it, I'm like, hey guys, can you get in there and fix up this and that one? <laughs> I'm starting to ride like a pussy. Can you change the trail? <laughs> All right, here we go back up for another one, and I wanted to head back down that red trail. Feeling more settled, I wanted to push myself just a touch more. Oh. You want me to wait and let you catch up sometimes? Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. No, it's better if you drop me. Okay. <laughs> it's funnier. Because I waited before and uh, I was like, oh, I've got him. I was like, well, Oh, maybe I should wait, maybe it's gonna be Yes. Oh my god, what are they doing? What? What the hell? I decided to do it. Oh. Yep. Riding with these two was the best thing I could have asked for. Ben was always encouraging and believing in what I could do. He chilled me out in times of stress and is a quality person to ride with, especially given the huge difference in our skill levels. Corinne shows what happens when you become familiar with intense riding like this, and it's really inspired me to get out and continue to up my own ante in the future. I started to hit the lines with more and more confidence, and looking back, I'm pretty pleased with how I progressed in these three laps. Also, these three laps are 3,000 meters, or almost 10,000 feet of descending. Let that sink in. 
That's crazy. Oh. And it almost looks steep on the GoPro. So fathom what this is like in reality for a second. We finished the day with some burgers at Shea Joe at the bottom. Highly recommended. And Ben told me even more stories about the riding in Champery. Now I've turned my scariest riding day into one of my most favorite. If you enjoyed this day, why not hit the like button? And if you haven't already subscribed, hit that one too. Cheers, punters. I'll see you next time.